Assalamu alaikum. My name is Sana Ahmed and I along with my group members Faria Buhari and Nimra Kiani will be presenting and explaining you about the operating system, its component and its responsibilities. So let's get in. So what is an operating system? Operating system is a system software that manages the computer hardware and a software. Operating system actually provides an environment within which the programs are executed. Some commonly used operating systems are Windows, Linux, Android, etc. So here are some components of the operating system that includes the file management, process management, IO devices management, network management, mem memory management, and security management. File management. A file management system is used for the file maintenance operations. File management is one of the most visible component of the operating system. Like you can store files and you can see that your file stored somewhere in a disk and how the directory structure will be. File represent programs both in a source and object form and also in a data. So here are the some file management responsibilities. Files are usually organized into directories, means it is usually involved in creating and deleting files and directories as well. It access the control on most systems to determine who can access what. It provides the standard file operations and general services. Process management. A process management is a program in an execution. Basically, program is a passive entity. It does not do anything unless its instructions are executed by a CPU. So the process can be thought as a program in execution. Program needs a resources to accomplish its task. So we can say that process is a unit of a work in a system. Some responsibilities of the process management are creating and deleting both users and system process, suspending and resuming processes, process communication mechanism, and process deadlock handling. If there is any deadlock between the process, like the system cannot do any task at the time, so the operating system should have some mechanism to overcome that problem. IO devices management. IO devices management requ requests are managed by the device drivers in collaboration with some systems program inside the IO devices. IO devices needs a general device driver interface each of these hardware devices needs drivers for their specific tasks so that the details of the hardware will also be known with those device drivers. Some responsibilities of the IO devices management are it manages all input output devices including mouse, keyboard, USB and disk drive etc. Network management. Network management are the processes and tools used to administer and maintain a network infrastructure. An NMS is hardware and a software solution. So you have a piece of hardware server running an operating system that would be a Linux or a Windows. And the purpose of the network management system is to avoid the services disruptions by the keeping the network healthy. So how we can do that? We can do that. We can do this by making our network error free and network resources are always available. Some responsibilities of the network management and network management are fault management, configuration management, data logging and report, account management of the network resources and the performance management. So the next component is memory management. Memory management. In memory management, we can consider main memory as a large array of words or a bytes ranging in the size of hundred of a thousand or billions of locations. Each word of a byte has its own addresses. This means the main memory is directly accessed with the CPU. This, uh, so the subdivisions of the memory among the different processes. Some responsibilities of the main mem memory management is the keeping track of each memory location. Keeping track of each and every part of memory and which part of memory is used by which process and how much memory allocate to that processes. It divides when and how much memory a process should be get. 
So the next one is security management. Security management help in implementing a mechanism that secures and protect the computer software internally and externally. As you know all that computer systems, we have a multiple users and all allows concurrent executions of a multiple processes. So these various process must be protected or should be secured from one's another activity. Some responsibilities of the security management are developing and implementing security, performing regular OS patch, installing update antivirus softwares, creating secure account with the required privilege only. So the last component is command interpreter. Command interpreter process that handles the interpretations of the user input command from the keyboard. So there must be some interface so the user interact with the operating system and that is a command interpreter. So the user will write commands that will be executed by the operating system. That's it.